Hey there, awesome runner. Enjoy your run today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think this is the first week that I feel like I might actually be able to get to the whole complete 5K and maybe actually be able to run the whole thing. Spoiler alert. I didn't. Hello, I'm Jess Wagstrom, professional dabbler, and today we are dabbling in failure. So this past December, I was feeling pretty crappy about myself. I had gained a lot of weight back, I wasn't eating very well, I wasn't being very active, and I really wanted something to motivate me to get more activity, like uh, something that I had to do because it was there. I decided I wanted to do couch to 5k again, which is something that I've done in the past and the last time I did it, it I really liked it. I ran a whole 5k. So I was like, I can do that once. I can do it again. If you don't know what couch to 5k is, it's a free program you can find online. It's an eight week running training program that's developed to get you from absolutely no activity to running a full 5k. So I decided that I was going to do it and for extra accountability I signed up for a color run 5k with my friend Megan and that was going to take place about two and a half weeks from my official start date. Two and a half weeks, two and a half months. I've done 5k's before but I've always wanted to do a color run because they just seem so cool with all that color dust flying everywhere and plus this one when you finished you got a unicorn medal. Yes, please. <laughs> I wanted that unicorn medal, so Megan and I signed up. Also, to help me, I downloaded an app that said encouraging things as you were running. Hey there, awesome runner. Enjoy your run today. Oh. Start running. Okay. the halfway point. Oh. Oh, thank you. I started out my training feeling pretty good. I had a deadline. I drew up a bullet journal page to track my training and Megan and I were messaging each other. We just did our runs, da da da. Day one. Day two. Week two, day two. It is week three, day one. Week three, day three. Day one of week four. This is our last run of the day, so let's go all out. Really enthusiastic. It's gonna be a good, project. Uh, but here's the thing about starting a run program in the middle of December. <sighs> it's so cold. I have a scarf tied around my head because I refuse to wear my hair in any other hairstyle than this ridiculous bun. It is cold and rainy. I'm not the only person here, which is astonishing to me. And the fact that they are all still alive gives me hope. It was super cold, super windy. We're scarfing it because it's fucking cold. I started running and it just felt really ominous. Like I felt scared. This is a fucking layer of ice. I hit, I was on the second run portion of the day. I'm a little terrified. I don't want to trip on ice and die. And this huge gust of wind came in and it almost felt like in a horror movie when you're trying to walk to a place and the wind like forces you the other way and it's like you can't come in here because the ghosts won't let you or something. These hoodies were made for someone with less hair and more fashion sense than I. And it's freezing cold. It is freezing cold. I decided to do this at the beginning of winter. And I don't know if it's just because I was a lot younger when I did the last Couch to 5K, like the whole 10 years, or if it's because I've gained so much weight or what. But my memory of the first time I did it, my progression through the weeks was fairly quick. Like the first day of the week might be difficult, but by the third day of the week, I was just killing it and ready to move on. For whatever reason this time, and maybe it was it's just the cold, uh, it sucked. I've well, only just done my very first run, and I already wish I weren't doing this right now. The longest run I've done so far, I'm not looking forward to that. It was awful and horrible, and I hated it. There was a dog who was there playing fetch with his or her master, who was just like booking it up and down the park. And all I could think was like, man, this dog is way more into running than I am right now. I'm very happy to not have to run anymore. If I weren't making this vlog, I probably wouldn't be doing this. You know, running sucks. Also, I saw a man peeing in the woods. So that was exciting. And I kept trying to come up with ways to encourage myself or motivate myself, like a new way of thinking about my run. Today was 
difficult, but about halfway through, I switched my thinking from, oh crap, I've gotta run for three minutes, to thinking about it as uh, running from point A to point B. I just have to run from here to there, and I didn't think about how long I had been running. I just thought, like, as long as I'm on this nice paved part, I'm gonna keep running. Or a new sort of goal to hit for each of my runs. So I'm gonna do the walking and running according to the program, but then I'm just gonna keep going all the way to a 5K. But in reality, I was just, dreading running. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to get everything together and get out the door and go to the park. It just, ugh. I started procrastinating pretty hard. Technically, I should have done this yesterday, but I didn't. I skipped basically a whole week. I'm cutting it rather close with this program lining up to our actual 5K. Basically, I can't skip any more days. I have to do the weeks as they are scheduled in order to complete the program before it's time to actually run the 5k. And finally I just stopped doing them. And I was feeling pretty guilty about stopping so I didn't film any of my thoughts during this time because in my mind this was going to be a glorious success video of how I went from feeling crappy to feeling great and doing this whole run and it was going to be inspiring and inspire everyone who watched it to do their own 5k and now here I was not even sure I wanted to do the stupid 5k because I definitely wasn't going to be able to run it. I wasn't enjoying the running at all. It wasn't giving me what I needed out of exercise. It was just activity that I dreaded. But in the end, I had paid money to do this 5k and I decided, you know what, even if I don't run a single step, at least walking a 5k is going to be more physical activity than I get that day. And plus, there's going to be all this cool color dust getting in my face, regardless of whether or not I run the whole thing or walk the whole thing. And so, I just kind of let myself off the hook. Because here's the thing about failure. Uh, I do it a lot. <laughs> Me and failure are like this. I am constantly setting myself goals and not completing them. It's really easy to get down on yourself and feel like you never achieve anything. You never complete anything. You never do what you say you're gonna do and you suck as a human and who'd even wanna hang out with a person like you anyway? The good news was I had a friend doing this with me. A friend who cares about me, a friend who was dealing with similar struggles and was also getting tired of running in the cold. She had a friend that joined us as well for the race. So we decided we're gonna do the 5K and if we walk the whole thing, that's perfectly fine. But Megan wanted to run more than I thought she would, and because she was there, I ended up running a lot more than I thought I could, and got a lot more out of it because of it. And it was a really cool experience. There was the color dust flying everywhere, they had just the most amazing music playing. If you are a fan of Top 40 Pop Radio, which I am, everyone looked really colorful, everyone was having a good time. It was really nice to just be greeted by people along the way, stations of people just celebrating and cheering for you and covering you with color. I finished the whole thing and I did get my unicorn medal. I would definitely do this again, even without training a single day. I think it would be fun to just sign up for 5Ks and do them because they're such a neat way to get some activity into your life. And then you get cool swag that's like, I did that thing. I did that thing even though I didn't feel like doing that thing. And in that way, it wasn't a failure. It was still something I could check off of the life achievement list. I have done a color run. So that is my story. That's the story of how I did not run a 5K. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Jess Wagstrom. Another thing I've been mentally failing at is this YouTube channel. I've made promises I haven't kept, and so I've decided to revamp the whole thing. I've put out a new channel trailer kind of explaining the new direction, but ultimately I'm going to be posting videos in seasonal chunks. This is episode one of my first season of trying this professional dabbler theme. I'd really appreciate your feedback on this and any of the videos to come. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are having a beautiful day, and I will see you the next time I make a video. Goodbye!